So in today's video, I'm gonna change out these lights right here. Um, they're just an older style, the outside is. So when I moved into this house, there was two of the old fluorescent bulbs. They had like a ballast inside of them. Uh, this one was burned out. It was like flickering. You could like twist the bulb a little bit, it'd come on. It's just really aggravating. So I saw this video where you can buy like LED tubes. So I removed the ballast and wired in the LED lights on the ends and I've only been here like two years and one of them's gone out and you can't even buy them anymore. So I also don't like the way it looks. It's just old looking and same with this one. So I've got these right here. I bought these on Amazon and I'm going to install these on these here. They're, um, they're pretty simple to install. Like I got another one right here and I'll pull it out what they look like. So just a little bit of wiring on the back and they mount right up there so uh we're gonna go ahead and remove these two i've got to open my garage door because there won't be enough light and uh wire them in and see how they look so stay tuned and I let there be light screw this here and then screw the new one up so it shouldn't take really just a few minutes. So let me uh let me turn the lights out real quick and we'll get started on this. There we go. So this portion of the video is pretty much straightforward. So I have existing lights. All you have to do is remove the existing and match the wires up from the new the old to the new. Um, it's really easy. Now this was a one man job. I didn't have someone to help me. So I had to run a long screw into the, um, the electrical box to hold it up there. I wired it in from the side. And then when I got done, I checked it and then I removed the screw and leveled it up. And here you're going to see me putting all the screws back in and trying to get it put back together. Now, it, I put the light back on. It was actually way brighter than the one I had. And here I'm going to show you all a time lapse of me replacing the other one. Um, it was just a little bit quicker. This one was a lot faster. I was able to stand on some stuff I had there. And I took it out. The one thing that frustrated me is I'm going to go over this in a second is the electrical boxes on the ceiling didn't line up. Um, so one was like two inches over from the other one. I'm going to say here in a few minutes I have put a laser on it and um, it's kind of frustrating. Alright, so I just finished this up. Um, I got both the new lights in and come to find out man the stinking junction box for this one to this one they're not even lined up. One of them's on this side of the stud and this one's on the other. So they don't line up perfect. Um, that'll be another project when I get all this drywall repaired maybe. Um, that's kind of aggravating. It's kind of probably frustrating. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and close this garage door. Those things are a lot brighter. So, but yeah, I'll show you. I have a laser. I put a laser right here, and I did it to see if I could get these things to line up. And so basically, these are covering the holes. If I go any over hole on this side, same thing. This box is on this side of the stud, this side on this side. Well, talk about janky, man. Come on. So, and I have a popcorn ceiling. If I didn't have popcorn ceiling, you know, scrape it down, move it over, fill the hole in, no big deal. But to go buy the popcorn in a can and spray it up there with a light, it just, it's aggravating. I mean, this is my garage. There's a big seam crack right here in the tape. It's been here since the house was built. So I'm not real worried about it. And I've got some drywall that needs to be done. I'll fix it later, but I did make sure they were straight as best as I could using my laser. I sat the laser right here on this. That's how I figured out there were on different sides of the stud. But basically that's the end of the light there. And um, this is a project I've been wanting to do. I'm gonna do this door now and then I've got two porch lights. So stay tuned for those. Like I said, I'll do one video a week, maybe a little further. So if you 
everything say, like, share, um, and comment, and uh, stay tuned for the rest.